Now in this section, we will go over auto-populating information about new contacts, connecting contacts to accounts, and adding a new deal from contacts. And let's take a look at the sales pipeline flow chart from earlier. As you can see here, the leads board represents the first stage of the pipeline. Once a lead is qualified and moves to the contacts board, we start working on the new deal with the contacts on the deals, contacts, and accounts board simultaneously. Updating three boards at once can be tedious, but with the help of automations and the contact and the connect board column, we can make this process seamless and organized. Now we're going to go ahead and pick up from the context board where we left off. Now the context board is the database of all of the people who we are working with. Uh, it's important to connect these people to the companies that they are work for in order to understand whether they are working for an account we are already doing business with or a new account. The first step is to check if a new contact is associated with an existing account so we can connect them. Once you have your accounts imported, we can use the following automation to match the incoming contact to the account. I just want to note here that this automation that we are about to explain will only apply if you've already populated your accounts board. If you are starting from scratch, just stay tuned for the next automation that we are going to introduce. So let's go over to the Automation Center, and we can locate this um, either by from the item creation category or simply by searching match. And it is a third option here. When an item is created in this board, connect the item where this column matches this column and another board by this logic. The first thing we're going to do is choose the other board. So let's choose our accounts board. And then we're going to choose the connect board column, which is accounts. And we're going to choose where the text column company matches the name. And let's add a new matched item, just in case we have multiple contacts for one account. OK, great. Now let's go back again to our leads board and see this in action. So I'm going to go ahead. I have my contact here. Let's say she is qualified and I'm going to move her to contacts, Elion Warren. Great. Now, as you can see here, we already have the company agently. And this was an automatic connection that was made here. I can show you this on the accounts board. We already have this account set up connected to a different contact. And now it is connected to Elian Warren as well, thanks to this automation that we just set up. Now let's go back to our contacts board so we can go through another scenario if you haven't filled out all of your accounts within the accounts board. Now, this is particularly helpful, helpful if you're just getting started. And as I mentioned, you have not yet imported your accounts to the accounts board. And when you are moving your lead to your contacts board, you want to save the manual work of having to import every single account as well by mapping this out via automation. Now, we are going to use the action of the contact moving to the current board to then create and connect an item within our accounts board. This automation will automatically add a new item on the accounts board. So if you're ch choosing to use both automations, make sure that you go ahead and use our manage duplicates feature as well. So now let's go ahead and start with the automation builder for this one is going to be a custom recipe. So we'll choose when item moves to board. Then we want to create item in board and connect both boards. Let's choose the accounts board. We're going to choose our contacts connect boards column, accounts. And then the one change we're going to make here is that instead of importing the name, which would be the name of the contact, we are going to put in the name of the company, which is a text column. So this will become the name of the item once it reaches the accounts board. For the rest of the fields, of course, you have the option to fill these out as well. Now let's go back to our leads board and generate this again. I'm going to go ahead and create a new contact by filling out the form, so just bear with me. Okay, here we have our new lead. She is now qualified. Let's move Alexandra Brown to the contacts board. 
Great, now as you can see here, we have an automatic connection to our new company Centra that we will find under our accounts board as well. Perfect. Now the final step for connecting our contact, account, and deal is to create a new deal which can be automated. We can now get started on closing the deal by manually adding a new deal directly from the deals connect board column. This will automatically create an item in our board, in our deals board, connect to the context board, and we can get started on closing this deal with all of the relevant information connected. Now, I want to mention here that the contacts board is directly connected to accounts and deals, so I'm able to sit, simply click on the plus over here and create a new deal. Okay, let's call this deal eight. And then by clicking on the deal itself, I can start filling out the information. Now let's head over to our deals board just to see what this looks like. Great, and as you can see here, all the connections are in place. We have our contact and account connected, the deal value, all of the information filled out directly from the Connect Boards column. Now in our next section, we are going to dive deeper into the overview area and how to communicate effectively using emails and activities. Mm -hmm.